G'day, Tim Bartomote here, agronomist with Local Land Services in Dubbo. And today we're gonna to discuss a pre-emergent herbicide demonstration that we did in 2021. So the purpose of our pre-emergent herbicide demonstration was to understand how various products could help us tackle annual ryegrass in wheat crops. So the reason why we wanted to compare traditional pre-emergent herbicides that tackle ryegrass versus these new products is to see which are the most efficient, which could be the most useful for producers in the Central West. So this demonstration produced some really good results that provide some great insight into how you might implement traditional and newly available herbicides into your cropping system. This demonstration was located at Narromine and at Parks, and each site comprised of four replicates of nine herbicide treatments and an untreated control. We introduced weeds into these sites. At Narromine, there was 150 plants per square metre, and then as ryegrass was popping up in each plot, we would count and compare this against the control, the untreated plots, to see which herbicides were more efficient at controlling ryegrass as it emerged throughout the season and how long they controlled ryegrass for. Within these nine different herbicide treatments, we utilised some of these newer products such as Matino Complete or Overwatch, Secura, Luximax, and then we compare these against more traditional herbicides such as Trifluralone or Boxagol. So we had some really interesting results coming out of our two different sites. And one highlight that stood out to me was the difference between our five week count and our 10 week count. So initially, the traditional products like trifluralin and a few others had really good control of annual ryegrass early on in the piece. But as we kept counting ryegrass as it popped up and we got onto our 10 week counts, we found that their control dropped off and some of those newer products did a lot better in terms of having longevity in terms of control of ryegrass. For example, at our park site, in the initial five weeks, the two and two herbicide treatment that we used, which was two litres of trifluralin and two litres of triolate, did really well initially. And as we moved to our 10 week count, Matino Complete with the IBS approach actually topped our results. But when we went to Narromine, again our two and two treatment in the first five weeks, which was trifluralin and triolate, did really well, as well as Luximax. But moving on to our 10 week count, we found that the Matino Complete again did really well and Overwatch in controlling ryegrass. And that was under higher weed pressure than the park site. So some of the lessons that we learned from this demonstration is that the benefit of some of these newer products is that they were able to have greater longevity and control multiple germination events compared to some of our more traditional herbicides that did really well initially but kind of dropped off. And that kind of moves on to the story about trifluralin. We had it quite a solid rate at two litres and we're quite fortunate that we didn't have a massive rain event that would have moved treated soil into the furrow and potentially caused crop damage. We used the commercial annual ryegrass variety and so it had no group D or group four resistance before that and so trifluralin worked really well in that situation. And so that just speaks that if you haven't used some of these pre-emergence before, then you can probably enter in at a lower point and still see good success going forward. Another thing to mention is that these sites had minimal to no stubble cover and so there was no locking up of trifluralin before it was able to hit the deck and be incorporated with sowing. And so one thing to learn from this trial, even though trifluralin looked really good initially, there were a lot of factors that contributed to that success. And if you have been using it for a long time, it may not be as successful on your place and some of these newer options might be a better fit going forward. So I hope it comes across in this video and from this demonstration, the importance of rotating chemical groups and how many different options we have within pre-emergent herbicides to control ryegrass in wheat for you in your cropping system. For any more information, feel free to contact your local LLS Ag Advisor. 